Welcome to Slimefoot the Stowaway. As far as opening hand goes, yes, we're going to keep on this one. I, I like this a lot. We've got Succumb to Temptation. We have Hero's Downfall. Uh, we have Erborg, which is going to turn these forests into double black for those double black spells. And then also a little bit of board white protection with Heroic Intervention. Even though we don't really have to worry about it too much with that green black. Um, let's go ahead and get down Forest. And then anything else, we're going to go and pass turn to our opponent. Hey, awesome. Best of luck. It's always fun getting to meet people in the, uh, the Just for Fun room. Always enjoy that. Let's get Slimefoot pulled back up, and we'll kind of uh, talk about what we've got going on. We're playing Slimefoot the Stowaway. Uh, whenever a sapling you control dies, Slimefoot deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. Now, this is really important. Slimefoot says it deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. Um, black has normally been life loss, and you take... Um, Blood, I was about to say Cartel Aristocrat. I'm um, thinking of Aristocrats too much. Um, you have Blood Artists, you have Zulaport Cutthroat. They make opponents, uh, target opponent or um, target player, target opponent, lose one life, and then you gain one life. Let's go ahead and get down Urborg. Let's go for Necrogenesis. It's going to be black and then green. And then anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. So the main thing I'm bringing this up is because it still functions like Blood Artists, except it's going to deal damage. So uh, we are running Tainted Strike in here. So let's say that we build up a really good board state and our opponent swings into that. Uh, what we can do is, let's go and get down Forest. Let's go for Slime Foot. Oh, Slimy Foot. Get on the battlefield, buddy. Let our opponent know what's up. Um, yeah, you can go for Tainted Strike in response to a board, swipe, board Wipe. If you have enough creatures on the, enough saplings on the battlefield, that's going to be lethal for the entire table. So that's kind of why it's a Slimefoot Spore Cloud. Uh, Plague against Grand War Lord Rada. Haste, whenever one or more creatures you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of red or green until end of turn. You don't lose mana as steps and phases in. See so what our opponent's going to get down. That's going to be three. Get down the, uh, get the Chariot Rider. Other creatures you control have Trample. Okay, sounds pretty cool. And then draw to Lano War Waste. Um, let's go and do this. Let's go and go for. Let's get down Forest. Um, let's go and go for Keen Sense on Slimefoot. Now, Keen Sense with Slimefoot is really good because, like I said, it's not like Blood Artists where they're going to lose a life, they're going to deal damage. So, uh, whenever that happens, um, you start sacking some of your sapling tokens. If you're playing in multiplayer, which I'm going to go and plug the EDH Lounge if you haven't seen it. Um, definitely go check. I would pause the video and go check it out. Well, I mean, it's a two-hour video, so I'm trying not to give away too much. But um, I play Slimefoot in the EDH Lounge, and I can say that Keen Sense is, uh, when you play it in multiplayer, it's something to be dealt with. You get a lot of, that's going to be three card draw uh, per trigger. And especially if you have Sack Outland out there, next thing you know, you're just ripping through the cards. I know. It's just like one of those cards where you come across it. Um, it's just like, it's so good. It just works so well with that. But yeah, and as far as Slimefoot goes, this build of Slimefoot, this is a little bit more of a traditional build of Slimefoot. Well, I say traditional. Um, what I mean is we're just simply going for as many Slimefoot activations as possible. We have a lot of mana rocks in here. Um, I did start off with a fungus build to where we're getting down a lot of fungus creatures and trying to get a lot of the spore counters on them. Um, once again, I don't know how many times in my magic career that I've, I've ventured into... Uh, the uh, the possibility of building a fungus deck and thinking about it be fun and it is just so clunky. There's just it's so fragile. It's like I don't know how to describe it, but building a fungus deck it it's fun, but it's just you need to have a really good matchup. All right, we went for succumb to temptation. I'll kind of explain them what I'm talking about here in a second, a little bit more. All right, drawn to two more cards. Drawn to blood arts was absolutely wonderful. Um, let's go and do this. Let's go and go for um, let's go and get swamped down. I think that sounds good. Do we want to go for Cultivate? It's going to be Cultivate and Blood Artist. Yeah, I like that. It's going to be green. Let's tap out on Herb. Oh, good. I thought we didn't leave up any black mana. I got worried for a second. Uh, we'll go and grab another Forest. Let's go and grab another Swamp, just in case our opponent's got some sort of land destruction out there. So we'll get that Swamp on the battlefield, Forest into the hand. Um, let's go and go for Blood Artist. That way we can start amplifying uh, what we've got going on. Um, anything else, we're going to go and pass turn to our opponent. Uh, but yeah, so a sapling deck, it's a, with the fungus creatures, getting those spore counters, it is fun to do that. But um, in my experience, it's really fragile. It's just, they can break really easy. And, um, you know, you just a lot of, <laughs> you spend a lot of turns getting these creatures down. Even if you can get proliferate going, um, next thing you know, just a well-timed board wipe or something just sends the whole thing crashing down. And so... Um, yeah, that, it started out like that, and I was like, all right, we need to switch away from that. And so um, I kind of backed away into more of an Aristocrats build of Slimefoot, and if you're a fan of the channel, or if you've been watching my videos for a little bit while, you may be sitting there shocked, being, what, Jolt's playing Aristocrats? That doesn't make sense. The world's coming to an end. It's not. Um, <laughs> I love Aristocrats. So if you're new to the channel, yeah, I love Aristocrats. So it just felt a little bit more natural to just kind of focus in on mana and generating, because, you know, at the end of the day, you're running the fungus creatures. Your goal is to, what, create sampling tokens. So if our goal is to create sampling 
scanning tokens, we can approach it in a different manner that's a little bit more reliable and a little bit easier to get that going. So, you know, we're going to let our opponent swing in on this one. So that's why we ended up kind of settling into more of a uh, kind of a control style build with the aristocrats, getting down, using mana rocks and a lot of mana to start creating those tokens and really focusing in on slime foot. So that was pretty good. All right, we do draw into Nature's Claim, which is going to be really good for that Beastmaster Ascension. Um, let's go ahead and get down Forest. Um, so at this point right now, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can at least get one activation and still leave up Hero's Downfall. Um, we have no creature cards in the graveyard. Uh, I guess at this point right now, let's just go and pass the turn. If our opponent does swing in, we can create a uh, sampling token and get at least two triggers off of that between Slimefoot and Blood Artist, and then get some good card draw going. And then if this Beastmaster Ascension turns online, uh, we can at least go for that Nature's Claim in response to that to make sure it stays off the battlefield. Okay, our opponent does get down a Kessig Wolf Run. All right, so we have to watch out for that one because that's going to be a pretty good chunk of mana if they add that mana to their mana pool. So we've got the uh, got the Chariot swinging in. Now, they will gain some life. This is going to be seven or more counters, so we'll, we'll see what else they're going to go for next turn. But we might end up going for Beastmaster Ascension, just kind of depending on how much mana they have. Um, they're looking at one, two, three, four... Uh, looking about eight mana. So, yeah, I think this turn we'll probably end up going for uh, Nature's Claim on this one. Now, we do have Hero's Downfall, which we can either use on Grand Warlord, or we can simply just, uh, you know, if they do tap out for a ton of mana with that Kessig Wolf run, I'd be tempted to go for it. But like I said, if they're saving that mana for something, then we can go for Hero's Downfall, and then go for that Nature's Claim on Beastmaster Ascension. And that way, we can still go ahead and make a um, make a token off of that. Now, if we do get a creature card in the graveyard, we will be online for Necrogenesis. So that's something that we can do to where if we spot and remove one of their creatures, uh, we can definitely get rid of that for two mana. But yeah, you know, little stuff like this, that makes a huge difference getting that down. All right, opponent's going to get on the Heb the Eternal. I think at this point right now, yeah, I like going for this. Let's go for Nature's Claim on Beastmaster Ascension. That's going to be one green mana. They will gain a little bit of life off that one. Um, let's go for Hero's Downfall on the Heb. That's going to be a pretty good chunk of mana that they're going for. And yeah, I don't, I'm not too wild about that one with Neheb on the battlefield. All right, since Neheb down, we're going to send that one target over there. Um, let's go and go for Genesis Exiling Neheb out of the graveyard. Turn that into a sapling token, and then we gain one life. There we go. Look at that. All right, see we drawn two, drawn two, overgrown two. Not exactly what we wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, let's go ahead and get down Lano Warway, so that way at least we're online for two more sapling tokens, and then let's go ahead and pass the turn to our opponent. All right, now with Keen Sense on the battlefield, we kind of put our opponent in this position of they definitely want to be attacking. That's what Grand Warlord wants their creatures to do. You can tell she's got her sword on the battlefield, and she's ready to lead them into battle. But uh, simply throwing our saplings in front of her, just kind of slowing her down... <laughs> I just love thinking about because when you're playing Slimefoot and like in the EDH lounge, I, I describe playing Slimefoot as like the 96 Ford Windstar of Commander. And it feels like that sometimes where, you know, it's just, you know, it's just, it's not beautiful. It's not sexy, but, it, you know, it gets the job done. Slimefoot does. So I just, I don't know. I really love the mental image of Slimefoot um, as Rod is trying to lead her army across the battlefield. We just keep throwing saplings in her way. <laughs> Makes for some fun magic. When you start imagining stuff like that, that's what's kind of fun. All right. Let's go for some sapling activations. It's going to be one, two, three, four. And that's partly why... Um, I just play only on Magic Online, so I've never really been much of a local gaming store person. So I was left to my imagination of imagining the things that are happening before me. Alright, so if you want to give a good mental image, just imagine Slimefoot just like <laughs> doing the really good like release as it throws these little sapling buddies at Rada and like one hits her in the face. Alright, I'm just going to add some mana to their mana pool. Um, they are online for Kessig Wolfront, so we have to watch out for that. It's going to be one, two, three, actually... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they're swinging in for about six. But at this point right now, um, we're going to go and send the whole sapling crew in there. That's going to be us drawing a pretty good chunk of cards off this one. If we want to be a little bit, I guess, better with our mana. Either way, they're looking at Kessig Wolf Run. We'll go and force the issue with them using that on the, the chariot person. Yeah. Sweet art, by the way, on that one. Yeah, so we can go for that. That way, they have to either use Kessig Wolf on to have that creature survive, and um, they're not going to be able to squeeze in some extra commander damage Oh, uh, Grand Warlord Rada. Okay, and they do make that trade. Let's go and get the Blood Artist trigger on the stack. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Oh, love this. And that's, you know, when I was thinking about Slimefoot, I, I just, I don't know, Spore Cloud popped into my head, and it just, I really enjoy building up this board state that, um, it's not really just good for you to swing into, and if you don't want to swing into it, eventually they'll get into spots where you can close it out. All right, we're going to use that ability, draw into Bloodstained Mire, 
drawn to fungal sprouting, and then we draw into blooming marsh. Okay, we've got a lot of lands, but at least we do have fungal sprouting. Um, the greatest power among creatures we control at this point right now is just going to be slime food, so we're looking at two, which is... Uh, eh. Not the best, <laughs> but we'll make it work. Now, we do have at least a reduced cost off Slimefoot with Necrogenesis, uh, exiling the uh, the Chariot Jackal Warrior out of the graveyard. And then we can still, you know, getting two, because we're looking at four mana for Slimefoot to get a sampling token, so we're paying for four mana to get two of them is not too bad. And uh, we have stuff out there like, um, what's going to go for Ant Queen? Ooh, okay. <laughs> It's going to be interesting. Um, start getting all those uh, those insect tokens. Insects versus saplings. And then Hell Rider. Ooh, okay. That'll be good. Uh, deals one damage to target player or planeswalker it is attacking. Okay, as long as we can just keep drawing into something, we'll definitely get it done. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, that's going to be nine total mana. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and go for Bloodstained Mire. We're going to have a reduced cost to get that creature out there. We can still chump block. Fungal, yeah, we need to go ahead and go for sapling. That's going to be the best use. It's going to be one, two. That's going to be two sapling tokens on the battlefield. Exile one, and that still leaves us on heroic intervention. Now, unfortunately, if we do end up going for um, necrogenesis, we can exile at least one more card to get on the battlefield, but um, that's going to cut us off on slime foot mana activation. But that, it's okay. Either way, we're still getting a sampling on the battlefield. And then we still have heroic intervention to leave up in case something does happen to slime foot and blood artist. Now, we are at 24. Opponent is at 26. You can see this is pretty much exactly what the deck wants to do. You know, thankfully, our opponent doesn't really have any spot removal at this point right now. Uh, we do have Keen Sins on Slimefoot, which is going to give us some really good card draw. Another thing that really amplifies the card draw on this deck is going to be something like um, Skull Clamp. Get down Skull Clamp, start putting out those sapling tokens, you get the Slimefoot damage. Yeah, so let's say we had Skull Clamp on the battlefield at this point right now. Um, that's going to be one damage up top, drawing another card. So we're looking at three cards for one mana equip. So it just kind of turns into Ancestral Vision, which is or Ancestral Recall, which is... Uh, <laughs> If you're keeping score at home, it tends to be pretty good. All right, opponent did get down Eldrazi Monument. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. So they will be able to take advantage of that with the, uh, the insect creature tokens. All right, and they all have flying and indestructible. Uh, we're looking at uh, 10 coming across. That's going to be 14 and then 17 with that extra damage. All right, so we need to get some stuff moving. Um, and unfortunately, we can't send these saplings in here to chump blocks. So they're going to add that three mana to their mana pool. We can still make a few more. But yeah, with them having flying, that's going to be hard. You know, we're kind of, you know, we maybe could have held on to Nature's Claim, but that Beastmaster Ascension, once you get it online, it's really hard to deal with, and especially with their chariot person giving everybody trample. Um, that's definitely a little hard to deal with with Beastmaster Ascension out there. All right, they're going to deal that damage to us. Um, we do have it, I think we have Naturalize in here and possibly Beast Within. So if we can somehow get some really good stuff going, uh, we can definitely get. Uh, Drawn to one of those cards, that'd be another way for us to at least kind of get out from underneath this particular one. All right. Or simply a sack outlet. If we can draw into a sack outlet, that'll really help us out too. All right. I was going to create an insect token in response to us going for Necrogenesis activation. Flying indestructible. <laughs> Look at that. All right, end up with one more sampling on the battlefield. But yeah, so we have a few outs on this one. You know, even if we draw into Skull Clamp, we draw into a Sack Outlet, something just to get the card draw flowing. Um, if we can draw into a Board Wipe, that would definitely be good because if we draw into a Board Wipe, um, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice. if you can't, they're going to have to sacrifice a Monument if they can't sacrifice a creature. See, we just, Sky Shroud Claim, that's not what we wanted to see, deck. That's not, that's the last thing we wanted to see. Okay, um, let's see on this one. Um, let's go and push in... We're pretty dead on this one. Let's go and push him with the sampling tokens. Maybe our opponent jump blocks. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazier things have happened. Um, let's go and swing in with three. Maybe those insect tokens block or something, and then we can get a few extra cards. I doubt they're going to block on this one, but I'll tell you. All right, yeah. <laughs> they're just like, Slyfoot, that, that stinks. What are you doing? All right, we're going to go ahead and scoop this one up. Good game to our opponent. <laughs> Sorry we didn't get to get a keen sense going, but I mean you can see how explosive it can be, but unfortunately that Eldrazi Monument, my goodness. They got some pretty good stuff going. Flying and indestructible, and then Hellrider doing that extra damage and using Ant Queen to get some extra mana going. But this is pretty much what we want to happen with the Slimefoot deck. When you're playing an Aristocrats deck, it is a Dirtle deck. There's gonna just gonna be some games where you get out aggroed and you can't find a sack outlet or you can't get that card draw going. But we had all the pieces in place. Um, we had stuff like fungal sprouting to get those extra fung um 
saplings onto the battlefield. Um, we had necrogenesis being able to really kind of, uh, you can see how it's just, you want to make sure you have as much value as possible. You're not wasting anything anywhere. So necrogenesis, we're going to be able to exile cards out of the graveyard, keeping the graveyard maintained at the same time. It allows us to get those saplings on the battlefield to get slime foot going. Um, if we had run into that sack outlet, that would have made it just a little bit different because that would have been a little bit more card draw per turn. And with these saplings getting out so cheap with some of these spells, um, we definitely could have chained together a really good card draw event. But we didn't draw into it, and our opponent got a really good, awesome deck out there with Hellrider. And then going for a win with Eldrazi Monument is always a lot of fun. So shout out to our opponent. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.